Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have no makeup on, not a scratch makeup on because we're going to be doing a colour series look and this colour series look is navy so we're going very dark, very intense, sparkly, probably a lot of follow hence the no makeup and I haven't even got a brow on, I don't have a little bit of concealer on, I've got nothing on, we're going to go just do the eyes even without brows on which I haven't done in a very long time but yeah, that's what's going to be the look today. I have like a navy-ish, although it looks kind of black, dress on. We're going to go so dark and we're going to go so vampy looking. And I just want all the really dark blue vibes. I've got my Morte palette. I've got my Mamma Mitchell palette from Beauty Bay. I've got some glitter, liquid glitter. I've got some bluey toned highlights. I've got everything. We've got a dark blue lip as well to play with. I'm really excited. I have a face chart done if you'd like to see the vibe we're going for something like that super super dark and gothic vibes which i really like but still sparkly and uber glam any pictures of this look will be posted up on my instagram which is linked down below you can go follow that there we don't know what it's going to turn out like just yet but it's down there and also hit subscribe down below to see more color series looks we've got a couple more fun ones coming up i haven't planned out every single one of them like i know what colors i want to do but i don't know what way i want to do them yet but we'll see as i go i have a couple more planned out but I have a fun one planned for my birthday. I'm excited for that colour. Also, many more videos to come, many more palettes to come, lots of more first impressions and three looks from palettes. And also some fun random get ready with me's as well, where I play with my own collection. Okay, so now for some reason it looks like I've got no eyebrows since I've put my eyeshadow primer on, but we're gonna jump straight in. I've zoomed you in and I popped my hair back as well. So let's just start. I'm gonna start with some ColourPop shades, I think. I have my shade here, Stone Face, which is gonna be a transition shade. It's very pale 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 cool toned grey. I'm going to take that on an Inglot 6 SS. Mine is a very old looking one. And we're going to pop that through the crease but because it has such a cool tone it will almost help with the navy shades without making it too bright. So we're going to pop that in the crease. This feels so weird not having my eyebrows on. I haven't... I honestly think it's been about eight years since I've done any form of makeup without my eyebrows on. Like proper look. I might throw a quick look on and then do my eyebrows afterwards, but I just know that I'm going to be putting my foundation on after and it just makes it easier that I do my brows afterwards. So that shade is going on the outer corner through the crease and right up underneath that eyebrow because I want this to be very focused in here and then blend downwards and keep a kind of rounded shape. Like it doesn't have to be super round. It can wing out a little bit if you want it to, but just don't forcefully wing it out. Okay, I'm really not helping myself here with make myself look like I have more eyebrow because it's just getting lighter even though that's a slightly darker shade than the primer it's still bright so what I'm going to do now is take my Beauty Bay and my Mama Mitchell palette any deep blue that you have will do I'm going to go in with Moody Mitch here it's just the one that I have that I know will work really well for me and I'm going to take a soft on brush from Makeup Geek which is kind of a stiffer fluffy brush like it's a big fluffy brush but a little bit stiffer so I'm taking some of that shade and we're going to also go into the crease out here and you can see like this is a navy but as you blend it out it does get a bit brighter so that's why I wanted that other shade down I didn't want it to go like too cobalty I didn't want it to go too cyan blue or anything like that bring that all the way through the crease and then slowly work that up under the brow as well and make it deep like I want to make this really deep you don't have to but I want to make it deep in here and once we actually have an eyebrow on it's going to look a lot better than this looks really weird so very um David Bowie and Labyrinth if you know that movie great movie by the way I'm just taking the 6SS with whatever is left on it for now just to buff it out a little bit I can always go back in with more of that light grey shade I have so much freedom I don't have to worry about messing up my eyebrow right now <laughs> this is great I should really do this more often and if it starts to look a bit too like in your face blue just go in with the grey shade and it'll just neutralize back a little bit okay so just going back and forward between the two shadows we just used and get your blend as you want it to be you can still add a little bit more like right here i want to add a tiny bit more of the blue i'm happy with how that's looking so far we're looking very blue we want it to go darker so now what i'm going to do is take my muerte palette from melt which also i think is discontinued but I'm just going to use the Noche Eterna, beautiful, beautiful dark blue. Um, I don't know why Mel's got rid of that palette. It's such a pretty palette. I'm going to take a e.l.f. contour brush, take a bit of the Noche Eterna. And this is the reason why I didn't uh, 
put any foundation on or any sort of skin stuff on just because I have a feeling I might get some follow but look at how dark instantly that goes that's exactly the main sort of crease color that I want I just want a little peek of blue just so that we know it's blue but I do want it to be like super dark so this is gonna go right through the crease also start bringing that up in the inner corner here like we're not adding color to that inner corner I'm kind of taking whenever I'm finished out here whatever's left into that inner corner just so that it's not too heavy but just keep adding the color until you're happy you only need a little bit at a time with this the melt formula is like intensely pigmented and then you have to go in and blend it it doesn't kind of blend as you go from what I found anyway it's beautiful though it's like one of my favorite formulas and then if you need any extra you can go in with either of your blending brushes which I already did and blend kind of around the edges just to soften that out a little bit because that is the main crease color that I want I want that to be really prominent but I also still want it to be blended so now what we're going to do is go onto the lower lash line and get all the dark mattes out of the way if I can and I think what I'm going to do is start with Moody Mitch so I'm going to go in with Moody Mitch and this is just a small little stubby flat sort of brush kind of like a 214 from MAC but this is just a cheapy one I got it in Primark but because my 214 is dirty right now so we're going to use Moody Mitch which was the second shade that we used the brighter of the two blues and we're going to run that along the outer th two thirds I think yeah two thirds of the lower lash line leaving that inner third alone if you can make sure you really connect out here as well and then whatever's left in the brush start kind of smudging that down you can bring it down as far as you want I want this to be fair because as you've noticed we're not going very soft with this look I can do more blending once my face is actually on and I've got my under eye concealer on because I will have to blend anyway so I'm just kind of smudging it out so I know generally what I'm doing but I mostly want the impact of the colour there I look so weird right now I <laughs> look absolutely like I'm from a Tim Burton movie we're gonna go back into Noche Eterna on that same brush and just work that into the actual lashes on the lower lash line to really deepen up like the top so get right in there really work that in all right I'm loving it I am feeling very corpse bride-esque I don't know why um I think it's a super rounded super deep socket sort of look to the eye so now for some fun sparkly bits what I'm going to do is take my glitter insurance from Too Faced we're going to pack that on the eye let me just get my brush this is just an elf concealer brush just like a flat synthetic brush I'm going to take some of that glitter primer and we're just going to pop that on the lid you can go crazy with cut creases and all that kind of stuff I don't really care if it's a cut crease or if it's not a cut crease <laughs> um if it works out that way it works out that way whatever way it fits onto the eye is the way I'm going with it but I'm gonna bring it slightly higher than my natural like the natural end of my lid just so that I don't get too much transfer then what I'm gonna do is take this guy here this is an Inglot pigment it's super dark it's the shade 137 I'm probably not gonna be able to show you too much without spilling it there you go super sparkly I've worn it before but not on camera I remember wearing it for my boyfriend's birthday one year stunning like oh my god Inglot pigments don't get enough just don't get enough of anything I always take a little bit out and pop it into the lid just so I can smash it into my brush and try to minimize the fallout but I'll probably get some fallout and that's gonna go all over that glitter primer can you do it look, look at that look at that look at that look at it just look at it look oh my god seriously I mean with pigments you are gonna get follow so you just kind of have to go with that hence why I didn't do my skin at all I'll do that afterwards once everything is kind of done I, once I'm about to do like my liner and inner corner stuff then I'll do my face just makes it even more deep but still super sparkly you would have seen like me swatching all of my ingot pigments in my glitter and pigment collection video where I swatch all my stuff or most of my stuff and yeah I love this I really need to use this a lot more then take your brush that you used for Noche Eterna and pop a bit of that on the brush and then kind of press over where it meets the pigment and if you want to go through the crease you can as well if you didn't do a cut crease you can use it to blend out the edge of the shimmer as well alrighty <laughs> I think now it's time to get rid of all this crap that's on my face right now it's um I mean it's a look I've seen things like at fashion week shows and everything like that that aren't too dissimilar to this so 
<laughs> yeah, take from that what you will. I am gonna tidy this up. I might throw my skin base and everything like that on. And then I won't do cheeks and I won't do lips until I come back anyway. And I'll probably pop my eyebrows on as well because that's no fun. So yeah, and then we can finish off highlights and all that kind of stuff and see how far we get. Okay, so I have tidied everything up. I have done my skin as far as my powder. I have also blended out all my edges. I just use my big fluffy brush with the first kind of gray shade on and just use that around like all my edges like this, even in here, just to make sure it's all blended nicely into the skin. There's no harsh lines or anything like that from putting the foundation on. So then for an inner corner, I'm gonna go in with Heavenly from ColourPop. Just, I just want this in the inner corner, like up here just for a little pop of highlight in there i don't want it to be like super prominent so i'm not even bringing it down here into this little gap or anything like that okay and then for that little gap in there this is where the super sparkly stuff comes in i know the lid is like uber sparkly as well which is beautiful and you could just leave it like that and maybe add the inner corner highlight on the bottom if you want to but i have to go a bit extra i'm gonna go with my be perfect glamour glitter liquid eyeshadow this is in the shade Deep House, which has like a bluey base, but it's like a silver glitter. So I just think it'll look nice. I think it'll look pretty. It looks nice in the face chart. So we're going to go with that. And it's going to look like kind of glitter tears there as well. So just using the actual applicator to apply that. Make sure it blends into the actual matte shades on the lower lash line as well. Oh, it's so twinkly. I love it. And while it's still a little bit wet, I kind of use my finger and pat it out and that'll just diffuse the sparkle outwards. And if you want to layer it up, I would recommend letting it dry a little bit because it can get a bit chunky if it's still, if it's like almost dry, it can pick back up on itself. So let it dry for a couple of minutes and then come back and you can add a little bit more. Okay, so that is looking fabulous. I'm very happy with this. I think once the lip goes on, it's going to all come together so well. What I'm going to do now is pop some liner on my waterline. I was going to do a deep blue like the LSD from... Um, Urban Decay but I have a lot of sparkly bits going on and that's also sparkly liner so I was like we'll go black or like a almost black this is like uh, what is it number seven's Stay Perfect Amazing Eyes Pencil it is their black but it's not the blackest black I own so I would say it's like a charcoal black so we're just going to put that on the waterline it'll just ground the look a little bit more make it that little bit deeper as well sometimes I find when I do a really heavy look like this and if I don't put something deep in the waterline kind of just doesn't look like it's part of my eye it looks it literally just looks like i slapped it on or it can look very disconnected but i find like see the difference yeah this isn't as dramatic but it's also not as structured now it's not as pulled together the way this side is okay so that's kind of it for the actual eyes the colors and everything like that that i'm going to use in my eyes i'm going to do my actual liner and mascara and lashes off camera i'm going to use my bobby brown gel liner because i've used it in forever but i'm going to do all that off camera because it's also kind of especially the liner is very difficult for me to do on camera and get it in frame because i have to be like this close to my mirror so <laughs> you won't see anything so i'm gonna jump off to that i'll come back and we'll do cheeks and we'll do lips together okay so i have finished off the eyes and i am in love so i only use my bobby brown liner for my upper lash on i already have my waterline done you see me do that and then my mascara is my clinique lash power mascara i use that on my top and bottom lashes and then my lashes are these guys which i don't really use that much and i really really like them and they're more comfortable than I thought they were going to be these are the Natalia lashes from House of Lashes so yeah really nice very spiky looking but I think that kind of I don't know I like it I think it goes look okay so I don't have a blush because I don't think I want to use a blush I don't know why I really don't know why but I am going to use this guy which is technically called a blush but it's not actually a blush this is the MAC next to skin blush but it's obviously not it is a contour and i'm going to use this on a bh cosmetics lavender looks number two brush which is like one of those flat really dense brushes so we're just going to use this to contour because i just want to keep with the really cool tones that i have going on i think adding a blush will add too much warmth or too much color i mean i may add a blush because i am a blushy kind of person i do really like blush but we'll just see how this looks if I look a bit too grey, I'll add blush. Okay, so I'm actually going to use two highlights. I'm going to go in with Blue Ice from the Moonchild palette from Anastasia. And we're going to mostly use this kind of in a big area. So like right down here. I want it to look very icy. Pretty sure I use this in my actual blue look as well. But hey ho, navy is blue. So some things are going to cross over. <laughs> so I don't really want it to look like this colour on my cheek. I just want it to be when I hit the light. 
you get that real nice flash okay i do look a little bit gray so i just want to add a tiny bit of color to the cheeks and a pinky color instead of a warm color so i'm gonna take dandelion from benefit which is super soft pink and that'll just give us a little bit of color and i'm actually going to apply that a little bit further back on the cheek to kind of help with that contour so it doesn't because that's what's making it look a bit gray is the contour i'm, I'm just a blush kind of gal i think i just have to have it on <laughs> And then just for an extra little bit of highlight, just to kind of match the sparkliness that we have going on on the eyes, I'm going to go with my Diamond Bomb Highlighter from Fenty. Just on the same brush. This is a 133 from MAC, by the way. And it'll just add a bit more of a twinkly texture to the cheek. And also make it look like I'm absolutely sweating. In the best way, though. Like model sweat. That's what we want. All right, so we are almost finished. I just have to do my lip. So what I'm actually going to do is a combo of two things to get the color that i want so i'm going to use the kvd beauty wolf everlasting liquid lipstick it's a super nice neutral gray and then that's just to take the tone of this down a little bit i'm going to use matte royal from mac it's a little bit of a royal blue i'm going to do the combo we're going to see how it looks and i will tweak it as i need to so starting with the liquid lip first as a base Oh, I love this colour so much. You want this to fully dry because otherwise you'll just end up picking it back up when it's not dry. So I'm gonna, yeah, the bottom lip is pretty much dry. We're gonna see how this looks and we'll just go from there. I kind of mostly want the grey to be more blue rather than this to be more grey, if that makes sense. I want to enhance the grey more. Whenever you're kind of making your own lip colour as well, you want to make sure that you're really getting an even coating because then the colour that's underneath will still peek through if it's not covered. Yeah, this is everything right now. I'm loving it. Not forgiving for yellow teeth though. Hmm. Any staining on your teeth will stand out more. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the look. I am in love. I would totally wear this out on a night out. This is very me for going out. I really, really like this. It's not for everyone, but if you're into this kind of style of makeup, I really like it. I still like how we have a peekaboo of a, a lighter blue going around the eye, but like on my lid is super dark around the eye is actually really dark where the liner is and everything. And then the lip really sets this off. I think this is like the main focus apart from the sparkly bits on the eye, obviously, but I think that the lip is the real, that's how you know it's super navy. So I love it. If you also like this look, then give me a big thumbs up down below. I'm loving it. I can't wait to take lots of pictures, which will all be on my Instagram, which is linked down below as well. Like I said in the beginning, this is what it will look like on my Instagram. It's going to be fabulous. But yeah, hit like down below to give me a little bit of support. It's the quickest, simplest and easiest way to give me support. And it also gets my video around to more people. And it also lets me know that you want to see more videos from me. Also hit subscribe like I said earlier as well in the video, to see more colour series looks. I'm excited to plan out a few more of these looks. I'm, I'm very excited to do face hair. Also, I have many more tutorials coming up. I have a very fun palette coming up, probably in the next video, I think, is the one after this one. I'm starting my next palette, First Impressions and 3 Looks 1 palette, which will be a very colourful, large, fun palette, like a carnival. I have already given a hint on this palette already, which is the same hint, but or similar hint. So yeah, you guess down below in the comments what you think the next palette is gonna be. And also what do you think of the look? Would you wear this look? I'm feeling this look. This is definitely the kind of look my boyfriend really likes as well. I don't know why. He loves the heavy, heavy kind of makeup. And yeah, I really like it. I have to finish off a couple of TikToks because I do TikTok now as well. So go follow me on TikTok. It's the same as my name here. It's Carla M Makeup and go follow me there it's fun i have fun i'm not good at it but i have fun over there we have fun and yeah i will see you in the next video guys bye